Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, which means that it's time for Mission Monday. And I thank you for joining me. And I thank you for giving me your time. But as I always say, most important is the time that you give God. So let us seek him in prayer. Lord, use me today. Speak to your people. Let your word go forth. God, we just pray something that's said that will encourage them to continue to gain their faith and strength and grow in you. We thank you today, Lord God. We ask you to open their hearts and their minds so that they will receive the word. Not only hear the word, Lord God, but also to put the word into, into action. We love you today, and we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray, amen. So I, I, our, our, our verse for the day is going to come from John 10, uh, 10 and 10, actually. Uh, and it's the second part of that verse. So I say 10b. And it reads, it says that Jesus came so that we may have life and live it abundantly. For us, this means that Jesus wants us to experience a, a full and meaningful life. You know, he offers more than just survival. He promises joy and peace and promise. You know, I was looking at also in First Timothy, it talks about this. It says, really for us to fully comprehend that we should not only study God's word, but we should also immerse ourselves into his word. Immersion in the God and his word is our way of saying God is trustworthy and, and deserving of our full acceptance. To this end, we work and we strive because as believers, we have our hopes set on living a life with God. You know, and to do so, we must be intentional about living that life with God, fulfill life with God. Why is that important, you might ask? You know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me, but sometimes you ever feel like, you know, life is passing you by and you're not living it to its fullest. You know, God's word reminds us that in him, that we can have joy, we can have purpose, wisdom, as well as love. You know, the word also helps us gain practical insights for navigating life's challenges. So, you know, in faith, uh, in, in, you know, he wants us to have faith in his son also. And that brings us a life filled with intention and a satisfaction. You know, once again, we are reminded that it's not all about material wealth or, you know, possessions. Instead, you know, living life to the fullest really involves spiritual fulfillment and eternal happiness through Christ's love, you know, for this entire world, not just for us, but for everyone. You know, in, in our journey of faith, you know, we often seek fulfillment. You know, that the, that the deep sense of satisfaction and, and, and completion that can only come from aligning our lives with God's purpose is what we must seek. You know, as believers, we find solace in knowing that our Heavenly Father desires to fulfill His promises in our lives. You know, 1 John 5, 12 says, Whosoever has the Son has life. This verse tells us that true life comes from knowing Jesus. And if you believe in Him and follow His teachings, then you'll experience a full and meaningful life. You know, living with faith means trusting in God's plan for you. And instead of just instead of just feeling lost or even empty, then you can feel confident and loved. Now, as believers, you know you are encouraged uh, to to embrace your faith and to find and to find fullness in Christ. Jesus wants us to look for the things of God. True happiness comes from following him, not chasing after the riches or material things. You know, the word says that uh, not to place hope in wealth. You know, it stresses the importance of trusting in God for our needs. And unlike material things, you know, his blessings, you know, fill our hearts, even the times are tough. 
real abundance has come from embracing God's blessings, leading us to a rich life filled with spiritual rewards as well as internal you know, importance. God, we know that, that when we are in your presence, you know, you will show us the path of life. For in your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, it says, at your right hand are the pleasures forever. Well, living life to its fullest involves appreciating every good thing that comes from God. Joy can be found in everyday tasks and responsibilities. You know, we are reminded to cherish the simple pleasures and to find contentment. Scripture teaches us to trust God's plan. It encourages us to live with a grateful heart, you know, being generous and willing to share. Instead of hoarding our earthly riches, you know, suggests that storing up treasures in heaven, you know, in the midst, you know, in the mindset that is, you know, this mindset leads us uh, to a more meaningful and satisfying life rather than temporary gains. Ultimately, we ought to know that our abundant life is in Jesus, who says, I am the truth and the life. I am the gateway to my Father and eternal life with him. Hey, let us seek the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today and we honor you as always. As always, Lord God, we appreciate you being the gracious God that you are. We appreciate this the fact that in you, we know that we can have a fulfilling life an abundant life, a life that takes us to eternal life, you know, with God. That's what we ultimately want to have. And I know, I know each and every day we get up and we go through these things, Lord God, and I thank you for that. But I know that you're with us each and every day. And I thank you for being with us. And I know, Father, that your word also tells us that in that sense of abundance, that, that you will do more for us than we can ask or, or dream or even imagine. So we know that we're also going to have not only a fulfilling life here on earth, but also, Lord God, that when it's all said and done, that we will be with you eternal life in heaven. We thank you today, Father, as always. And so, Father, just continue as we do. We pray for our leaders, Lord God. We pray that you will continue to grant them wisdom, grant them knowledge that the decisions they make will be ones of you. We pray, Lord God, for our medical teams that are out there, for our nurses, our doctors, for our statisticians, Lord God, we will not forgive them, as well as our caregivers. The unsung heroes often never talked about, never seen, but they are so important for us, Lord God. We thank you for them. And then, Father, we thank, for the, thank you for those who stand out, who stand in front of the dangers of this world. Our police officers, our firefighters who run into the fire, Lord God, our military, Lord God whether or not they're down the street or whether or not they're across the planet. We thank you, Lord God, for being them. Be their shield today, Father. And of course, Lord God, we pray for those that are in need. I know your word says that they will always be with us, Lord God, but we pray that you would just be that for them. Be that Jehovah's Jireh, that you will provide for them, grant them all that they need today, Lord God. Cover them, shelter them, feed for them. Help them, Lord God. We thank you for that, Father. And of course, we pray for those that are on the call. Pray for them and for their families, Lord. Pray for their health and well-being for themselves and their families that you will strengthen them. Heal them where they're broken, Lord God. Build them up where they're torn down. We thank you today and we love you so much today, Father. And Father, as always, Lord God, your word says that part of living a fulfilled life is being able to share with others. So today, Lord God, we ask that where the opportunity lies, where the abundance might be, where the cup overflows, Lord God, that you'll give us the mindset to be ready to share, be willing to give those people who are in need, be willing to do for the organizations that need us to support them as they strive to make our community a better place, as they build those programs to bring people together. But ultimately, Lord God, that they get a chance to see your love for us in in your love for us shine, that they'll know that we are yours. So let your light shine. So, Father, we won't let that light shine today. We thank you, Lord God. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And as always, if you ever need somebody to talk to, if you need somebody to pray with, reach out to me. 
whether or not online, whether or not a phone call, whether or not in person, we'll make a way to get together. Thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. So as always, it's Mondays, the beginning of a great week. We ask you to go forward, have a great week, walk in the love of Jesus and stride. Know that he's there with you. Be in his presence. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week.